Today, let's explore one of my favorite quotes from none other than James Baldwin. Baldwin can readily be classified as one of the great American novelists, standing shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Mark Twain, Steinbeck, Flannery O'Connor, and Toni Morrison, among so many others. I think, more importantly, Baldwin remains one of the great intellectuals in America. And if the following quote moves you in any way, I urge you to read his works and explore the incredible insights and complexities he presented to the world that are as relevant today as ever. So in 1963, Baldwin gave a brilliant interview to Life magazine, where he explored notions of race, God, and politics, among various other topics. What struck me at most, however, was the following quote, and it has left an indelible mark on my own life since I discovered it some years ago. Baldwin said, quote, You think your pain and heartbreak are unprecedented in the history of the world, but then you read. It was Dostoevsky and Dickens who taught me that the things that tormented me most were the very things that connected me to all other people who were alive or who ever had been alive, unquote. The quote is staggering in wisdom and scope. It's what many of us intuit when we find ourselves immersed in a film, a song, a story, or a poem, as though it's depicting our very own life but we can't quite articulate why it resonates with us so profoundly. Innumerable times a story or a poem seems so exceedingly accurate to my own struggles that it's almost uncanny. Often I'd look up from the pages with a sense of wonder and amazement, almost as if the author was literally in the room to comfort me. It seemed to border on the miraculous, that I could form a kind of kinship with someone not just across oceans, but across centuries. Elsewhere in the interview, Baldwin reflects, perhaps as though gazing into a mirror, that, quote, an artist is a sort of emotional or spiritual historian. His role is to make you realize the doom and glory of knowing who you are and what you are, unquote. It's not so much that Baldwin is offering an antidote to our collective pain and heartbreak. Often platitudes fail precisely because they simply cover the wounds instead of tending to them. Instead, Baldwin offers a decidedly different kind of insight. He recognizes that, as arduous as our individual suffering can be, it can also unite us, can guide us, especially through the medium of art, and often in the most unexpected and beautiful kinds of ways. Most importantly, Baldwin's quote on pain and heartbreak emphasizes a timeless wisdom in a day and age where isolation, loneliness, and despair plague so many around the world. He is asking us to rub our eyes again and look around. Dust off your books and record players and take counsel with the artists, the great thinkers and philosophers that have been around for thousands of years. Finally, what he's reminding us of is that we are not alone. We are never alone. Thanks a million for listening. I hope to explore countless stories, songs, and poems in the near future. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take good care and see you next time.